What's up guys, John here, Titan Talk Tuesday, getting it in. Uh, it's been a beautiful week to start anyway, Monday and Tuesday is the second day of the week. We're almost to that hump day again guys, kind of like it, it's the end of the day here at the office. So uh, it's been kind of crazy, I don't know how your life's been, I know it's probably turned upside down like all of our lives right now. So not knowing what's going to come along next, what's up, what's going to be it. What are we going to do and when are we going to get out of this isolation corona situation that we're in? Hopefully soon, right? So we got a great show for you guys today. I'm going to talk about a lot of different things like our therapy of the week, CJC with Imperella, and talk about the benefits of it, um, what it does, how it's going to help you, you know? So we'll get into detail about that. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Making sure everyone stays hard during this quarantine. That's right. So if you guys are at home... Uh, make sure you guys are getting that workout in. If you guys have to go to work, come home and get that workout in, right? So hopefully, yeah, hopefully a couple weeks. Hello to everybody out there from Florida to Michigan to wherever we are in the United States. Because we got everybody from every different state on here. So I hope you guys are all staying busy, getting those workouts in. We're going to go over some different things. So if you're in the area, we're going to have some different things that we're offering for those people in the area. If you're not in the area, I still got some specials for you guys and some good information for you guys too as well. Um, we're going to talk about cortisol levels, obesity, diabetes. I mean, these are, these are really, really big things that are in the news right now. But they've been here for quite a while, and they're affecting our population in a lot of different ways. And we'll talk about some of those different numbers because these are true factual numbers. And that's what it's all about is the facts. I know there's a lot of crazy information in the media, so we'll go over that stuff too as well. Don't forget, you know, summer's coming. We'll make a reminder about that because we all want to look good at summer and not be caught off guard in our bathing suits outside, right? By the pool, by the beach. You know, you don't want to look bad in that. So don't forget about it. We'll bring that up. Otherwise, the normalcy. What's the normalcy going to be coming after this uh, corona virus uh, takeover, I guess? You know, how are we going to act as a society? I'm really interested in seeing this. You know, and see how everybody reacts and something like that. Especially for energy, need energy, please no improvement on TRT yet. Love you guys. Yes, we'll definitely have some different specials for you guys on that too as well. So let's get into it. Let's talk about some of the different things we're going to talk about today. CJC, right? 1295 with Imperalin. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a healing peptide. Or excuse me, not a healing peptide. Huh. It's an anti-aging peptide. It's two different peptides combined together. Let's talk about what they are. CJC-1295. So CJ-1295 is a GHRH. It's a growth hormone releasing hormone, okay? And it's made up of a sequence of 29 amino acids. So that's what growth hormone, real growth hormone is made up of. It's 191 amino acids in a different sequence, and that's what produces the effect or the signals in your body to do what it does. So the best thing about CJC-1295 is it had a predecessor. And before that, it was Semarellin. That was a GHRH. Now, this one has overcome that other predecessor that was in the past and was used quite often in HRT clinics, anti-aging clinics. Um, they, used to, they were doing studies on it and doing it for, uh, like, dwarfism. So that was another one. Um, so this, really, what it does is, is it stimulates the pituitary to produce your own natural growth hormone. So that's what it is. GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone. Can't wait for the aliens to destroy the earth. Hopefully the aliens aren't gonna be coming down. Okay. But if they are, you better be in the best shape as possible because you're gonna have to run or fight for your life, right? So 1295, CJC 1295, GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone, right? And what it does is it helps stimulate your own natural growth hormone. So it doesn't overstimulate it, which is good. It helps to create IGF-1 levels, which is good. You get all the positive effects. So, what is that? That could be increased in bone density, lean muscle mass, sleeping patterns, right? Uh, it, it, your skin, hair, libido. This can affect a lot of different things and help you out in a lot of different ways. Now, you heard me say two different things. CJC-1295 with Imperellin. So, what is Imperellin? Imperellin is a GH secretage, all right? So at that point, um, what it's going to do is it's going to help secrete these other hormones into the bloodstream. And it's like GHRP6. But the difference with this is, is that you don't get the hunger effect that you would get with GHRP6. 
and what is GHRP6? Growth hormone releasing peptide, right? And what these do is they stimulate the GH relin. So this the hunger hormone. So by taking GHRP6, you got really, really hungry. I mean, you eat everything in the house. I don't care what it was and what your diet was. Even if you ate beforehand, you'd want to eat down the house. So yes, you stack it, you, you, these together will come in the exact same vial that you guys would get. And you guys would get both of these peptides in the one vial. And you would use them together because they work synergistically. They work together. And what GHRP2 and GHRP6 did was they helped the pulse, stimulate the pulse for the pituitary to releasing the GH. So. That's what amperolin is going to do, but it's a lot better. And let me tell you why. So you don't get the hunger episodes you would on GHRP6, and it won't stimulate prolactin. So some of these peptides, if you took them at high doses, would stimulate some of these different negative effects, cortisol, prolactin, and you would get a negative effect. But with these, you will not get the increase in those. So. With that, it will help with fat loss too. So lean body mass. So you wanna shrink down inches, right? You wanna do it the right way? This is a good way. This is an awesome substitute for growth hormone. Now, real growth hormone is really expensive and it's highly regulated. So that's why you don't see a lot of doctors out there prescribing growth hormone. And if you do and they are prescribing in abundance, I would be scared, okay? I've owned a clinic for eight years. I know these things, and that's something we wouldn't even mess around with. And we're cutting edge in a lot of different ways, but you have to be safe and you gotta make sure you are doing the right thing out there. So, this will help out in those different ways. Plus, with regular growth hormone, you could have to use it and keep using it for the rest of your life because it could shut down your natural pituitary production of your growth hormone, and you depend on growth hormone to take. Now it's gonna be really expensive, and you're gonna have to use it all the time, possibly. So that is one negative effect. How many times do you administer a day? Okay, so CJC 1295 or Imperellin. What's up, Paul, how you doing? So we usually tell patients to use it at nighttime, right? Because growth hormone stimulates at night, right? Your highest levels at night when you're sleeping, usually, or in the morning time. Now, you can use it multiple times in a day. It's just that most of our patients are not that regimented or don't have the luxury to be able to do that. Because once you reconstitute the medication, you're gonna wanna keep it in the refrigerator to make sure you keep the potency and everything's good there. You don't want it to sit out. Usually things that you're re-diluting uh, or sterilizing as far as um, you know mixing, you don't wanna mix that and keep it out. Like HCG, all right, so most of the peptides, BBC 157, TB 500, these are things you should not keep out of the refrigerator. So with that, you're gonna to have to either keep it in the refrigerator in your office or keep it cooler. You could eject it multiple times in a day, okay? But you do really wanna get the best benefits out of it and do it the less. You're either gonna do it at nighttime, right before bed, or early in the morning, right when you rise. 15 minutes before you eat anything, like right afterwards, okay? So that's really what it's gonna help you do. So it's gonna help, it's more of like an anti-aging um, type therapy, but it can help in recovery too, because now raising your own growth hormone levels and IGF-1 levels in your body are gonna help your body repair. It's gonna help your body sleep better. It's gonna help you get lean muscle mass on quicker, lose fat a lot faster concentration and cognitive enhancement your brain you should think a lot better right so these are these are some of the different benefits you will get mostly from these therapies this one in particular cjc 1295 within Peron. it's a great peptide it kicks the butt out of its predecessor semorellin so don't even use semorellin so if you're going to somewhere you're getting semorellin ask them about this therapy and they don't know about it run all right that's one thing because they should by now and because it's been around for a while and the next thing is, is that if they're not giving you this option, run, because this is a better option for you guys, okay? It's proven in studies. So at that point, CJC 1295, check it out with Imperellin, all right? Those come together. So if you do get that therapy, it's our therapy of the week. Make sure you mention it, and maybe they'll hook you up on it, okay? Clearly on ACG, can you stack with CJC? Yes, you can. So ACG has a totally different function than CJC 1295 and Imperellin. 
And actually, it might actually work a lot better for your benefit. The reason is, is this. With ACG, right, it's not a fat loss medication. You don't inject it and it burns fat. What happens is you go in a calorie deficit, um, a caloric deficit, and at that point, it starts pulling from, you know, the fat, the reserve fat that you have in your body and lipolizing it, right? That's when it's burning fat, when right? it's eradicating it. So with this, when you're on that, this should actually stimulate the other hormones in the body like growth hormone and your IGF-1 levels and actually benefit or aid and possibly more weight loss for you. Being able to keep on the lean body mass too as well without going into a catabolic state. So that's really some of the benefits you would get out, out of doing HCG along with CJC-1295 and Imperellin. Okay, and IGF-1, uh, LR3 is a good one too that we offer. I'll talk about that maybe next week. But it's a really good one. The only thing with that is you have to do a blood test. With the CJC-1295 with Imprelin, you don't have to do a blood test. Um, but it's always good to possibly get one too for a baseline. And you can always follow up and see where your levels are at afterwards. I always like to do that. I'm very particular about looking about what's going on in the beginning and what's going on in the end. And that way I can make an educated decision about how I felt, how the numbers look, correlate it and make a good decision with the medical provider okay and i would recommend that for you guys too do you happen to know the half-life so cjc with 1295 with imperolin so with that they made it in two different ways they made it with with dac or without dac right and without dac is the way this comes and what that means is is that it's going to have a, a longer half-life so the half-life in this is going to be uh 30 minutes to its predecessor uh summer on which i believe was eight minutes as a half-life uh, in the body, so at that point, it's going to be in the longer. Uh, it's going to be in your bloodstream a lot longer and working for you as far as that goes. So you should get a lot better effect. All right, and that's a lot better than Semerellin CJC twelve ninety five with Impron. We still have Semerellin, but you'll probably never hear our medical providers ever um, recommend that because of a better, better medication or therapy that they can offer a patient and a lot better bang for the buck. Before you used to get Semerellin by itself. This comes with CJC-1295 and Amperolin. Before you'd have, well, I guess there was mixtures that we did have, like the Forte, that had GHRB-2 and GHRB-6, along with the Summerall, and that was pretty good back in the day, for sure. It mixed the GHRB-2s and the GHRHs together, which combined, it did get some good effects um, for our patients. One other thing about Summerall, though, is your body could produce antibodies after taking it for so long, and then, the efficiency of it doesn't work anymore. So at that point, you're really injecting and wasting a lot of money. So this one, you shouldn't have those issues or problems, okay? All right, so the next thing is, is our Titan Specials. Our Shot Clinic is going on. So if you're in the area, uh, you're going to be visiting the area, you guys can come in for our Shot Clinic, and you guys can get an injection. So we're doing single shots for $10 and double shots for $25. So... The one that we have, for example, was our vitamin C injectable with zinc. So if you want to get vitamin C by itself, you can get vitamin C by itself. If you want to get it with zinc, we have that injectable as well. You would get both of those injections, right? And it's with a little baby insulin needle in the same syringe, so you guys will be good to go there. Plus, we have our amino blend. Uh, we have some other ones like L-carnitine, biotin for some of you ladies out there or guys. Uh, we have NAC injectable, uh, glutathione. You guys can take that single shots here. So if you guys don't want to get the therapy and the full 30 shot therapy packages, you guys can come in for single shots if you're in the area, okay? Along with IV therapy, and we have some different packages that we offer automatically, or you can build your own bag, right? So that'd be good too. So what are the prices you offer? So it just depends on what the therapy is, and we can talk about prices, or you can always call or text. 727-389-3220 and our medical staff would be happy to go over these questions and answers with you guys if you don't know what we do we service the entire country so at this point with telemedicine our medical provider can see you via facetime or skype for hormone replacement therapy for males and females medical weight loss vitamin amino acid injectable therapies that you guys can do in the comfort of your own home, right? We also offer rejuvenation detox, anti-aging therapies, some of these awesome peptides that we've been talking about and more. Blood, taste, blood testing nationwide. So you guys can still go into LabCorp and still go into Quest. It is essential for you guys to take care of your health and for your medical providers so you're allowed to do this. 
At that point, we can offer that service up to you guys. We can test you for a number of different things from your general blood test from liver, kidneys, cholesterol, hemoglobin A1C, which is sugar levels over a three month period, uh, PSA, prostate for guys, also hormones, free and total testosterone levels, estrogen levels, progesterone levels, growth hormone levels, IGF-1 levels particularly, and B12 levels. You can also do a whole bunch of different array of panels, vitamin D, right? amino acid blood testing if you really want to see if your amino acids are doing the test of time if not you can do the injectable ones and we know they're going to work and we can show it to you through a blood test which is really cool food allergy sensitivity tests through blood work std testing and i hope not many of you guys are going to need that right now right because people are on lockdown so unless you're really uh you know, making your rounds, I guess. Well, I guess everybody could usually do it. But <laughs> you're going to be more than probably not to right now, okay? Injection site on the body. So it just depends on what therapy you're talking about for injection sites. For injection sites of CJC-1295 and Imperolin, what you're going to do is, is you're going to take a little bit of the subcutaneous fat, right, or skin. And usually what I would do is, is I would say three inches from the navel, left or right, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed and how you're going to use the needle. And you're going to come across, right, in a 90-degree angle, excuse me, 45-degree angle, across the stomach into the injection site. Um, at that point, in the subcutaneous fat in your stomach area, usually some people do it on the sides. Um, you can do it in a, in a variety of different places, but usually the easiest place for you to see is your stomach area. And you can go right across with a needle, and if I got one, I don't even know. Let me I see. Right here. Let me see it real quick. All right. So obviously, I'm not going to stick myself, but I'm going to do it with this little orange tip. It'll be even better for you guys. So if you're pulling up the skin, you're going to want to go in this little subcutaneous area. And when you're doing it, you're going to inject in with your thumb. So you're going to put it in, inject in. And it's real small, so it's it's a little insulin needle. It's really really baby tiny. Um, if it's a vitamin or amino acid injectable, you can actually go in your deltoid. And people tell me all the time, it's not going to get in the muscle, it's not going to get in the muscle. Listen, guys, I've been doing this for eight years, okay? I've seen uh, probably all the patients as far as that goes from 350 pounds down to 80 pounds, okay? I've seen some females. So at that point, when you're going to get in the deltoid, you're, you're going to get in, I guarantee, with a half-inch needle, most likely, unless... You know, there are some exceptions to the rules out there, but majority, you're gonna have no problems. Not to say you can't use a longer needle. Um, you can, and we can we can supply those to you too, but that's probably gonna be your best bet. Um, if you got a lot of different things you're putting in there, so if you're putting two mLs in there, because that's a one mL, you would probably need a different syringe, the body of it, and we can supply that too as well as different tips. So that could be the different size, and then you'll have the gauge on it, the size if it's bigger or smaller, all right? All right, so medical providers. So if you want to do consultations for vitamin amino acid injectable therapies or you're a comeback patient, right, there's specials going on for that, right? Call or text for those specials. Say you've seen it on Titan Talk, and they will give you the consultation specials. Also, specials on blood work. If you've ever thought about getting a full panel of blood work through Titan Medical Center, now is your time. And you can use it now, or if you're scared to go out, you can bank it and use it later. Whenever you want, right? It's there for you guys. It's never going to be taken away. So the special is 130 for males, which is usually 200 And for females, it's going to be 200 instead of 300 Now, the females have a little bit more testing on their panel. These are very in-depth tests, okay? We don't have a, a brick-and-mortar location in Las Vegas, but we service nationwide in everything that we do. So you can see our medical providers telemedicine. We can send you into a lab in your local zip code. So if it is Las Vegas, that's not a problem. And the pharmacy will ship directly to your doorstep. So you guys don't have to do anything. You don't have to leave unless you want to go do blood testing. You guys can do that, okay? All right. Uh, you guys are... No, we're not closed. Dwayne, come on, man. Uh, no, text. Text the line. I mean, it is after 6 o'clock, so the lines might have moved over. Text the line, Dwayne, and they'll take care of you, okay? We're definitely not closed. 
we're in the studio right now, so we're definitely not close. We've been moving along. We've been actually been doing primary care. That's another thing. I, I didn't even mention that to you guys. So we picked up primary care and urgent care now. So if you guys are in the area and need primary care services or urgent care services, we can help you out there. If you guys are remote, so that means you guys are in a different state, we can help you out with primary care. A lot of different things. If it's you know like a sinus infection, you need cholesterol medications, whatever. Maybe your doctor's closed. There are doctors out there, doctor's offices that are closed or that were not set up for the logistics of telemedicine in a situation that we have right now. Nobody thought that this was gonna come around. Titan Medical Center was ahead of the curve a long time ago. We were prepared and ready for something like this to happen. So we can definitely help all you guys out and whatever you guys need, most likely, in a lot of different circumstances, for primary care, urgent care, and all the other services that are listed, okay? How long does it take for you to fill the treatment? I've been almost a month, there's still nothing with TRT. All right, so usually it would take three to four weeks where you should start seeing or feeling a difference, right? So energy should start coming up, libido should start coming up, concentration should start coming up. Um, if you're diet, you know, you're doing some kind of nutrition, I hate the word diet. Somebody brought that up to me today, like, I, I don't like diet. I'm like, yeah, I understand. It's your nutrition, right? It's your meals of what you're eating. So if that's coming along, weight should be coming off a little bit. You should be getting a little bit stronger, especially if you are working out. I don't care if you're just doing push-ups right now. If you haven't started, start, because that will definitely help. And if you're still not feeling good after the three to four weeks, right? So if you're with Titan Medical Center, and let's say you're on treatment for a month, and you're really not feeling a difference. You need to communicate that with our staff. And you guys that are patients know you have full reign to call, text, or email. And we're going to get back to you. Like we're saying we're working today. The staff is still in there working right now. And at that point, if you guys have questions or concerns like, hey, listen, I'm not feeling any different. We need to look at it. So everything is not perfect, okay? Not all the time. And everybody's different. So different doses for different people and some things need to be adjusted right and that's where we come into play because it's personalized medication and regimens for our patients and that's how you guys should be treated a lot of different places or places that i see out there have cookie cuttered you get this this and this this price this is what it is it doesn't matter like i i, I see people all the time they're talking about 10 weeks i get a 10 week supply like it's the exact same medication you're getting from us but the dosage is a little bit higher, so you're going to go through the medication quicker. You can extend anything out you want, just like dilution, like I see it all the time in, in some of these medications. It's crazy. But communicate. Communication is key in anything, especially when you're talking about your health and the way that you feel. You want the best bang for your buck. You want it to work for you. Communicate and let them help you out, okay? And we will. If it's with us, let us know. We'll take care of it right away. And we'll definitely find out what's going on so we can get you back on track and get you feeling good again because that's what it's all about, quality of life. That's key, man. Um, you know, I've been on testosterone and hormone replacement therapy for over 10 years. And when I really started in the beginning, it felt like opening up the blinds. When I was dialed in, it was even better because in the beginning, I felt the benefits of testosterone. But the blocker, the aromatize inhibitor, wasn't used as much, right? So my estrogen was spiked. And when I went in for my follow-up, I seen it. I'm like, oh, my God, this is why I still have water retention. I'm still not feeling the best I could possibly feel. But once everything's dialed in, man, you should be rocking and rolling. And at that point, you have your dose. You have what works for you. Unless you introduce something that's going to change that regimen or protocol or dose, you really shouldn't have any problems or changes with what's going on. It should be consistent, okay? And as long as you're being consistent and doing the right thing, it should stay like that. You know, a lot of the problems I see a lot of guys out there that have that start doing TRT or HRT is they start either um, not trusting or not going about the right way of doing their medications, right? And they change their dosage when they think it's right for them to change their doses or they think that it should be this way without communicating back to the practitioner. Guys, if you don't trust a practitioner in doing your regimen, don't go to him no more and change it over. I don't care who it is. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable in it, don't do it. But you need to let that practitioner deal with what's going on. Not a forum, not a buddy, not anything else. Don't let that happen. Follow what the directions are of the medications that are prescribed to you. If that's not working, communicate that to your practitioner or medical provider. If they don't listen or don't want to change those things, at that point you need to find a new medical provider. It just is what it is, okay? 
What up, DC Baker? How you doing? No problem. What do we got here? What do we got here? All right. Uh, what do you think about Royal Medical when it comes to tier tier? It's just another company out there. Uh, listen, I don't talk bad about anybody out there, so uh, that's one thing you'll find out with me. I've been around for eight years. I'm not going to talk bad about another clinic. Um, at that point, you know, I, I don't know. I, you know, I, I go by what I hear, and I get a lot of patients um, from there, particularly. So at that point, I can I can mention those facts. Uh, other than that, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad about them. You know, they do it their way, and we do it ours. I think ours is more personal. Um, but hey, listen, that's my opinion, and everybody has opinions, right? So at that point, you got to do what's best for you and where you're getting the best service, um, and you're getting the best results, and you're feeling the best. I think that's really the way to go. And there's honestly, it's an epidemic. You want to talk about pandemic? There's a pandemic and and hormone replacement um, and, or deficiency out there. And I think that's a real big topic that a lot of people just skip over. If we really tested anybody for hormone deficiencies out there, how many people would really come up, you think? I think it'd be around seven out of 10 people. And that's just going by the blood test that we get. So with males or females, right, with the blood testing when it comes back, did they come back low or deficient? I don't see too many good blood tests, specifically for hormones. Not liver, kidneys, not cholesterol, but in those areas. Uh, you know, and it, it has to do with a lot of different things. Some of these people, and it, it depends on what their health history is too and their medications are on. I see a lot of people are on antidepressants. Most of those people have low levels of testosterone. And then they're getting the symptoms of low testosterone along with the depression aspect of it. So at that point, they just don't feel good altogether. And I understand, like, well, I don't fully understand because I'm not in their mindset, but I could understand how they feel and it's like a zombie almost, you know, and I get that from a lot of patients. So really, you have to look at those different things too. So looking at different things like that, I think in our population with all the EDCs out there, endocrine disturbing chemicals or stuff that we put on our body and stuff that we intake, you know, I think that's affecting hormones a lot bigger and it affects a lot more people than than we realize as, as a population in general, okay? Regular doctors can't figure out adrenal fatigue. I definitely have some hormones off for sure and true love to find out. Okay, so that's what it is. So listen, the best thing I can say for you is this. Definitely blood test, definitely get you know your free and total testosterone looked at, get your estradiol looked at particularly, IGF-1 levels. I bet you're gonna find something in there that you're gonna be able to fix. Um, and when you do fix it and you dial it in, I, I think that you're gonna have those issues, um, you know, go away pretty much at, at that point. I don't know. I mean, everybody's different. I don't know your full history, but I would imagine that's when it's going to be. A, how do I consult with you? Just give us a call or text 727-389-3220. We'll be able to uh, be able to help you out. So Jerry Ward knows me. Okay, so Jerry Ward sent, sent you our way. So Jerry Ward knows definitely. Um, I've been good friends with Jerry for a long time. Um, him, his wife, you know, definitely helped out. Uh, at that point, listen, man, it's definitely out there. And I think there's some different things that you can do to probably help yourself. And if we do think it's adrenaline fatigue, you know, you, there's some different things that I think you can go about doing or some different therapies. And we can help you out with that. Just call or text 727-389-3220. And uh, we'll definitely kind of go over some of the different options for you. And that's what the medical provider's for too, man. You know, the medical provider's there to answer all your questions, go over these therapies and tell you the science behind it, why you're taking these medications. Uh, or re what they're recommending and why they're recommending it. That should be it. Pros, cons to it. And, um, you know, at that point, be very knowledgeable in the subject or what they're talking about, and that's all they do. And that's what our practitioners do. They focus 100% on what we do here, and that's that's really where you get the benefit from because we're here for our patients, you know? So it's really cool. Really, really cool. All right. So if you have not subscribed to our newsletter, when you get done with this live with me please on your phone all you have to do is text the word titan medical to the number 22828 so 22828 the word titan medical is where you're going to text and you'll automatically be on our newsletter list every week comes out with our therapy of the week plus we have these different awesome awesome discounts or specials going on that you guys can take advantage of. Whether you're a patient, not a patient, you guys can take advantage of these specials, right? And it will be in that newsletter along with different events when we can get out of this 
isolation um, and some different things that Type Medical Center does all together, right? And it might be talking about an array of different things, so please subscribe to that. You guys get all the information you guys need there, okay? So when we talk about hormones, let's talk about cortisol levels, because right now a lot of people are under anxiety. That's the number one thing I hear people talk about. I've got anxiety. I can't leave the house. You know, I'm worried about, you know, my job. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about my kids. I'm worried about having to teach my kids at homeschool learning, right? Uh, they're going crazy. So anxiety, all these different things, stress can cause high cortisol levels. When we talk about high cortisol levels, you can talk about a lot of different things that can happen. So we're talking about an immune system breaking down. And right now we want our immune system to be boosted. We want it to be strong as ever because we have this horrible thing out there, COVID-19 on the streets, wrecking it, the invisible enemy at your doorstep. You have no idea who has it because of asymptomatic carriers. Now let's not forget about all the other good stuff that's out there, right? Like strep throat. Nobody talks about anything else. I haven't heard a single case of the flu again. Have you heard anything about the flu lately? Hmm, I haven't, but this is another thing that's out there. The common flu that comes around every year that people get vaccines for. Every year you get a vaccine for the flu that has all different types of strains in it. So these things are still out there, right? So you can still get these different sicknesses, diseases, or viruses that are out there. So that means you have to have a strong immune function or system to be able to fight it off. And that's where this really comes into play. Because if cortisol levels are high, not only will it break down the immune system, but it's gonna store fat in your body. You're not gonna be able to get the fat off or have a good weight loss effect. And if that's what you're trying to do right now with a good nutritional diet, nutrition being the key word there, and a good exercise program, let's say you have a Gold's Gym in your garage, right? You wanna take advantage of that and you wanna get the benefits out of getting the results. Now, with exercise, it can reduce stress and anxiety. So that might be a good way for you to let it out. So this could be you know, one way to combat high cortisol levels. It could be also be through meditation or yoga. You know, meditation, I could believe in closing my eyes and put myself someplace. Yoga, I wasn't too good at. I've tried it, not my cup of tea. But it works for a lot of people out there. Some people, they like to you know, listen to the, the waves crash. I mean, they put on some music. You know, this is uh, de stress for them. Some people like to hit a punching bag. That's another good way. Don't hit people, hit a punching bag. All right? So, this is a good way. So, de stress as best as you can. I know there's a lot of stress and a lot of uncertainty out there. It's, it's easy for one to say, but you have to do it. Okay? So, just please do it for yourself, do it for your family, help yourself out mentally and physically. Right? Obesity and diabetes. So this was a big one, right? This goes along with blood testing because one, we have to know if we have diabetes or we're pre-diabetic. How do you know that? How do you find that out? What blood test do you run or do you ask your practitioner or should he tell you to run or he's going to run on you? So it's called the hemoglobin A1C. The first line of defense is usually when you get a CMP, a comprehensive metabolic panel, and that's what a lot of general practitioners run. It runs liver, it runs kidneys, but if it's gonna run a glucose level, so when you do a glucose level on there, a glucose level is <clears throat> a fasted sugar reading, right? So this is when you're supposed to fast, and you go on 12 hours, and it gives you that sugar reading at that exact point, at that time. What a hemoglobin A1C reading does is a three month average of your sugar levels. It doesn't matter if you fast or you don't fast, you're going to get that number. And that number is gonna tell you if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, okay? Or where you're at in the levels. If, if you're good, if you're like, listen, I'm nowhere near this, you'll find that out. If you're getting towards that edge, you'll find that out. If you're past that edge and haven't known it, and there's some people out there, find out this all the time. Have no idea, they have diabetes, they're running around, it's a silent killer, so it's not, drastically affecting you in that moment, but over time is when it does its damage and when you really get the negative effects of diabetes. So at that point, this little blood test will be able to tell you where you are in the spectrum. And the good thing about it is, is the faster you know, or the quicker you find out, the, the faster you can treat it. So the faster you can go on something uh, like metformin or something like that that's going to bring sugar levels down, Hopefully you won't have to get on insulin and have to inject yourself every day. That would suck, all right? And there's a lot of people out there that have to do it. 
when we pull out the stats for this, it gets really, really crazy to talk about. So with diabetes, 34.2 million people have diabetes in the United States. One out in five, right, don't know they have diabetes. 88 million adults, more than one in three, have are, are pre-diabetic, okay? And we, it costs $327 billion total medical costs and lost work and wages for people diagnosed with diabetes. Risk or earlier death for adults with diabetes is 60% higher than adults without diabetes. Eight in 10 adults don't know they have diabetes, or are pre-diabetic, excuse me. Eight in 10. Eight out of 10. That's 80%, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. So when we talk about this, type 1, body doesn't make enough insulin. This is 5 to five to 10% of diabetics. Type 2, body can't use insulin properly, right? That's 90 to 95%. Oh, my God. 1.5 million people, 18 years or older, diagnosed with diabetes in 2018, right? Risk factors for diabetes type 2, being overweight, having a family history, being physically inactive, and being 45 years or older. So we talk about obesity and diabetes. See how they're correlating, see how they're coming together? So at that point, if you're obese, you most likely are pre-diabetic or have diabetes, or you're at very high risk of getting diabetes or becoming pre-diabetic. So some of the different things you can do Change your diet is one of them. Make sure it's a nutritional diet. Your meals, meals are nutritional. Two, have a good physical regimen or physical activity. You really can't do anything about being 45 years or older, so making the choices before you're 45 will probably put you at a lower risk, right? And family history, we can't change who our family is. Not like that, not through blood, not through genetics. But at that point, you need to look. So if most of your family on both sides has diabetes or pre-diabetic, you better just look at yourself and say, listen, I'm at a higher risk. I really have to make sure that my diet and my exercise, physical activity is on point, okay? And you can correct these issues or problems before it gets out of hand. And that's really what it's about. What is this one? Also, uh, work with a, a health professional, eat healthier, Stay active. So if you want to manage your diabetes, that's what you're really going to have to do. And that's, you know, if, if you have diabetes, you know, you can still get that level down. You can still control it. Now, what happens with diabetes? What happens? Sugar is in my blood. Who cares, right? Well, what happens with sugar is sugar actually helps or kills, deteriorates cells in the body. At that point, when your cells start deteriorating and dying, your body will start deteriorating and dying, okay? So that's why it's a silent killer because it happens over time. Over time, that's what happens. So you're not gonna feel it today, you're not gonna feel it tomorrow, but you know what, a couple years down the line is when you're really gonna get the negative health effects. So make sure you guys are at least observing your hemoglobin A1C for diabetes. Now for obesity, we just talked about it. They go hand in hand. Nutrition, your nutrition is key in your diet of what you're eating per day, right? You are what you eat. Number two is your physical activity. So you have to have a good physical activity or regimen. If you don't start, you have to start somewhere. You know, it can be overwhelming for some people that get out there or even at their home right now, have no idea what they're gonna do or wanna overload themselves and make unrealistic goals and what they're trying to do physically. So at that point, start somewhere, okay? So that's, that's the big ones with obesity and diabetes and some of the ways that you guys can look. Cholesterol is a good one to look at your, your diet and nutrition factors that will tell you the tale of what's going on there. And that correlates with cardiovascular heart disease. So that's one you should be looking at. And mostly, a lot of general practitioners look at through their blood tests too as well. So that's definitely a good one, right? Summer is still coming. What's up, Big Drew? Rodney, Rodzilla, what's up, guys? So, all right, so what is what we talking about? Summer here. So summer is coming. It's not waiting for you, it's not waiting for me. We're probably gonna get out of this corona, uh, isolation, uh, you know, this, this corrupt situation that's going on right now in, in the world. We're probably gonna get out of it by summer. I would say by June is what they're saying. June, July now. Um, so at that point, listen, it's gonna be right smack dab in the middle of summer. Now the best thing I can tell you guys is if you guys don't have weights, you guys better get on those tight home workout programs, which you can get at tightmedicalfitness.com. Or you have your own workout programs you're doing at home. 
Do something, okay? Even if you do, you're like, oh man, I'm gonna lose all my weight and all my gains. Listen, at least, at least you'll look lean and mean when you come out there, right? So make sure your nutrition diet is on point. Make sure you get in the activity because you want to look good in that bathing suit. And if you want any motivation, you know, I said this on a couple of girls' Instagrams. It's pretty funny. Get your bathing suit on. You know, you better look at yourself. That's how you're gonna look when you get out there. And other people are gonna be out there, even if they're social distancing. And a whale looks like a whale from far away, okay? It's just like a smaller whale. So you don't want to be that whale, guys and girls out there alike, right? We want to look good. We want to try to look good when we're in the bathing suit, by the pool. You know, if we have to get in some, you know, short, skimpy little outfit of your girls or guys, whatever it is. Guys, you guys want to look good, right? Inside the bedroom, outside the bedroom, you guys want to do it for yourselves. It's your temple. Take care of your temple. Don't treat it like a trap house. That was a good one. <laughs> Jenna Zell said that to me today. I, I kind of laughed about that. That was pretty good. Treat it like a temple, not a trap house, right? So, uh, all right. And when you make a plan, so making a plan, this is key. And this just doesn't go for the body or your nutrition or your exercising. Making a plan. So right now is the time. You have more time on your hands than ever right now. If you're not working a central job, you're at home probably chilling or watching Netflix or playing video games, hanging out with your kids. You could be doing a wide variety of different things. Make a plan about something you want to accomplish when you get done with this thing. If we're done in a couple weeks, what can you guys do? Can you guys make your own business? Have you thought about a new business or a different employment or some hobby that you want to do or something that you want to accomplish, whether it's schooling or learning a new language or whatever it is? Make a plan for that. Be meticulously and detailed about that plan and write down the steps of how you're gonna get from point A to point B to point C to point D. Very, very detailed. Make that list up. Start accomplishing those goals. You have the internet in your hands. You can accomplish a lot of different information things like that. So at that point, get that all done. If you have something that's waiting until you get it to the outside, like you cannot accomplish that task or goal, then accomplish everything before that or everything after that. Wait to accomplish those things. Get out there when the door opens and hit it full blast. And at that point, you guys should be one step closer to accomplishing whatever goal that may be. Like I said, it could be anything. Just make a goal, have it be your guidance during this situation, your motivation, and stick to it and get it done, okay guys? I appreciate you guys, man, all tuned in. I know everything's crazy out there, right? Um, poll question. So poll question is, what was the last time you had your blood work checked? So when was the last time you had your blood work checked? Let's find it right. All right? Here. Was it three months? Was it six months? Was it one year? I can't remember. Uh, never. Why do I need to check my blood? So let's go do these because we got answers on all of these. So the biggest ones, and this was kind of a tie, three months and six months at 26.3% on both of those. So people are checking their blood pretty regularly, three to six months. I'm proud of you guys. This is good. This is really good. Whether you come to Titan or not, listen, get your blood work checked. Um, one year was next. So 21.1% said one year. Good. Hey, listen, at least you guys are getting a yearly checkup. You know, I, that's minimal, but hey, listen, I guess that's a good, that's better than never, right? The next one after that, I can't remember, 13%. And that was tied with never, why do I need to get my blood checked? Okay, so if you can't remember or you don't know why you should be getting your blood checked, get your blood checked, all right? Get it done. And the reason why is for your health. That's why. If you can't remember, that's not a good answer. You should definitely remember when you had your blood work checked, when you went to the doctor labs to get your blood work checked. And the reason I say this is you should have a copy of that blood work because you probably won't remember when you had your blood work checked. So at least you'll have a file. You can always go back to it and check where you were. At that time, if you don't remember, it's going to say on the sheet what day it was, what time it was, all that good information is going to be there, and you will have it for your file. So if something does happen down the road, or you want to compare that blood work, you'll have a copy in your file at home or on your computer now, or in the cloud, right? It's in the cloud, so at that point, you guys will be good, and you guys will have it, all right? So that's one really, really good thing. All right, so Titan programs, we're giving away some of the Titan programs, full nutrition programs. Full training programs, very cool. It lays out your meals, your macros, so everything you should eat during the day. Everything is laid out for you guys. We have full support for you guys, along with training programs. The training programs are going to show you 
at home workout. So you guys can do at home workouts. I'll be there on video with you guys. Uh, you know, so you can actually press the training videos. I'll show you how to do the exercises right there alongside you guys. If you have questions, you guys can write, text, call, email, and we'll be able to help you guys out there. That's a really, really cool one. The Titan Lifestyle, Health and Lifestyle Show on ABC every Sunday, 11 a.m. Me and Sharice are breaking it down. We have all kinds of cool content on there. New content you guys haven't seen, along with Cupid's Corner 2 as well, that relationship enhancing segment that you guys will all get a kick out of, hopefully, uh, guys and girls, and hopefully learn something, okay? I want to do a giveaway. So let's do a giveaway. So the giveaway is this. I'm going to give away some free Titan swag. So either a shirt, or if you're a girl, you'll get leggings, right? But I have the MVP of the giveaway. I'm going to give away, and this stuff is a gold right now. I've got brand new Purell hand sanitizer. And it's two ounce, but it'll work for sure. And you cannot find this anywhere. It's sold out everywhere. It's not some off-market brand or not even the brand that are pharmacy compounded. It's Purell from Procter & Gamble, except no substitutes, right? So this will be going along with the Titan gear. So you'll get, like I said, if you're a guy, you can get a Titan shirt. Uh, if you're a girl, leggings, tank top, whatever you guys want, you guys will have this too as well. You too. Good up there. Oh, yeah. You Sorry. All the good graphics. Oh, cool. Wow. So if you guys are seeing the cool graphics up there, you guys can see some of the Titan gear for the girls. Uh, along with the hand sanitizer so you guys can stay clean you filthy animals no, I'm just joking but we want to make sure you guys are staying uh, sanitized at all times clean your hands wash your hands and if you don't got any soap you'll have this Purell which you guys can take on the go it's got the little cap and a little squirter in there so it's a little, little pint size and I have some more of these I'm gonna give away the rest of the week but I can't give them all away right now because I get rid of them all. People have been buying them left and right and uh, I don't have enough. So at that point, I got to conserve. But I wanted to give something away to you guys that was beneficial in this um, this environment that's going on right now where people need hand sanitizer. Who would have known hand sanitizer? Man, if I had a crystal ball, we'd be rich. How would they win? All right, so how do you win? You guys got to call or text when we get off the live. 727-389-3220. I'll pick the 10th person. So you guys better hurry up because that will go very, very quick. So the 10th person is going to win Titan Gear along with that bottle of hand sanitizer. Stay tuned the rest of the week. I'm going to be giving away more hand sanitizer, some more Titan Gear for you guys because right now is a time of giving. Whether it's to help your neighbor, to help your friend, for us to help you guys. We want to be there for you guys. We want you guys to be there for the rest of the people out there. Remember, we are going to get over this. We're going to get out of this one way or another, whether it be the government lets us out of this or we're going to go with, with society and unrest and they're going to want to get out of themselves. Anyway, we're going to get out of this. We're going to survive. We're going to become stronger, I promise you. And uh, that's it, guys. So I'll see you guys Friday with Big Drew, Titan Lifestyle. Remember, Sunday, Titan Health and Lifestyle Show with me and Cherise and all the other Titan crew. You never know if you're going to be in one of those segments. So watch out for that one, guys. If you guys can't see on TV, I'll make sure to put it on social media for you guys. I appreciate it. As always, call or text 727-389-3220. Visit the website, TitanMedicalFitness.com, TitanMedicalCenter.com. And we will see you guys next week and Friday. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.